I started breeding budgies in 1976. Um, I've been doing it for 40 years. It's a very enjoyable hobby. Uh, it takes a bit of the stress out of work when you come home in the evenings. I've had three different bird rooms and every time I move house I build a bigger one. I did originally have 24 cages and two inside flights but I've now cut down and I've cut down to 12 cages with 12 pairs and one inside flight. That is sufficient to keep me busy in my retirement. The breeding season normally starts either in September or October. Personally, I start breeding in November. Uh, I have quite a lot of success over the winter because I've got a heated bird room. The birds normally are paired up and put into the breeding cage together. Eggs are laid on, on alternate days and after about 10 days, she's laid about five eggs or six eggs and the time then is to wait for them to hatch, which is normally 18 days. At 18 days, the first one hatches. Every two days after that, a chick will hatch and the hen will feed each chick individually with whatever food it needs for that particular age. At the end of four weeks, the bird is eating seed and the bird starts to fly and is taken away from the parents as soon as it's eating independently. Normally when you're ringing a budgie you put the first two toes forward and you put them in, in the ring like so. Pull the ring up the leg like that and then you hook out one toe at a time like that. And that's it wrong. It's got my ring on it, which is P2. It'll stay on it for life. And it's also got the year that it was born and a, <coughs> a number, a serial number, so I can tell which is which. On a, on a good show bird, then you are looking for width of head, frontal rise, and six evenly spaced spots. Normally a bird will have more than six spots and we have to pull each one out individually until we we're left with six. Uh, it doesn't hurt the bird, it doesn't make any noise, it doesn't screech um, and they come out quite easily with a pair of tweezers. The main colours of a budgie are green. Green is the dominant colour. All birds in Australia where the budgie originates from are green. In the case of the birds in the UK we have various mutations of green, blue, grey, yellow, white and various pied markings. When you put birds into a show uh, there are normally over 400 birds in competition. The idea is at the end of the day to have the best bird in the show. Fortunately I have achieved this on one or two occasions and it is a very satisfying part of the hobby. I often get people come to me to buy pet budgies, mainly old ladies who want some companionship and somebody to talk to. I do give them a bit of advice in as much as it is important that a bird cage is as big as it can be. It's important that the bird is fed seed and water and grit and it could be important for the bird to be able to fly around the room when it's able to do so rather than being sat in a cage all day. Feeding wise not many extras because a bird that gets fat in a cage won't fly and will die quite quickly. They often suffer from heart attack and the old ladies come back and say my budgie's died. Why? And you find she's been giving it food that's made it fat. Um, sometimes I get phoned up and I'm told that the budgie they bought is a lovely little bird and it's been playing football. You'd be surprised the stories I get from these old ladies.